Hello and welcome to my course where I teach you how to draw in bite-sized lessons. If you want to get to the start of the course, I'm going to leave a link up here for you. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own blending stump. We often need to do blending work when we're drawing realistically. So you can go and buy yourself a blending stump or you can make one. I've just made mine, never buy them. Let me show you how to do it. So this is what the bought blending stumps look like. They're made of paper, rolled up really tightly, and then ground into this point over here. So they do work great, they really do, but only for a very short while. Then this point here becomes full of graphite dust. So then forever and a day, when you try and blend, especially when you try and go from this and you try and blend to a lighter area, and now this is all dirty and it's full of dark from a previous blending, the minute you start blending, it makes that area of yours darker than what it should be. So the guys try to sort of clean it by using sandpaper and all sorts of stuff like that. And yeah, with limited success because this is nice and smooth when you buy it, which is great. But the minute you start sanding it or cutting it or anything like that, then you lose all of that. So yes, they do come in lots of nice little sizes. But let's face it, they all end up in a little sharp point. <laughs> so that's what you're blending with. So that sharp point is just as sharp as that point over there. So for me, I, I you can see I've got them. They've come with sets that I've bought. But they're pretty useless. I've never used them. I prefer to use that and that. And that's all you need. So you take a sheet of paper. And I usually tear them in half like this, then I can make two different blending stumps. And the process to do that is super simple. You take your finger, you put it in the center of the page like that, and now you roll this guy up into a ice cream cone shape. You see there? Just like a little ice cream cone shape. And now you can hold this side ste steady and roll this guy up the back edge. So I'll just turn him sideways. and roll him up. So don't worry how he looks at this stage. All you're looking for is just getting yourself that ice cream shape. If it's not a sharp point over there or anything, it doesn't matter because you can adjust it. That's the good thing about these blending stumps. So if I look inside there, can you see there's a little piece of corner of paper? You can grab that corner. Just shove your hand in there, grab that little corner so that you're holding it like that. Can you see it's all bent up now? So I just grab that and then I grab this corner over here, this guy. And now by pulling, I'm holding this one steady. By pulling and pushing the inside one, I'm getting a sharper point or a flatter point. So I can make my own blending stump with a point as sharp as what I wanted or as blunt as what I wanted. Once you've got the point that you want, just finish rolling this guy up so that that tip over there is flat against the blending stump itself. Take a piece of masking tape and just lock him in place. There you go. Now you've got your own little blending stump and I promise you this is just as hard as the other guys because a, you're not pressing hard on your drawing, and B, this is a, as hard as you're ever going to need. And what's cool is when that tip does get dirty, you just take your masking tape, you loosen this. So let's let's just dirty that tip over there. So let's take here. I'm just going to dirty this tip up. You grab the inside and just. Pull it forwards and backwards once or twice and that tip will re-establish itself at a different place. So let's just dirty this tip up here as well. I'm going to really dirty him. Can you see there? Grab the little piece on the inside. Recreate yourself a tip. Can you see there? So now all that dirt is over there, not on the tip anymore. 
Now you can continue blending again with a nice clean tip. And you can use this multiple times when you're done with it. Yeah, throw it in the recycling. Take your other half of paper and create yourself a new one. So there you go. That's how you make yourself a blending stump with the paper you've got on hand. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to do shadings using pencil. So I'll see you then.